David Beckham is opening up about a personal struggle. The 47-year-old former soccer star is sharing about his obsessive compulsive disorder when it comes to cleaning in his upcoming Netflix documentary. In early footage seen by The Sun, David speaks candidly about his cleaning habits, explaining that he will spend hours tidying after his family go to bed, telling the cameras, the fact that when everyone's in bed, I then go around, clean the candles, turn the lights on to the right setting, make sure everywhere is tidy. I hate coming down in the morning and there's cups and plates and you know bowls. It's tiring going around every single candle cleaning it. I clip the candle wax. I clean the glass. That's my pet hate. The smoke around the inside of a candle. I know, it's weird. In an interview with ITV back in 2006, David originally opened up about his OCD, saying at the time, I've got this obsessive compulsive disorder where I have to have everything in a straight line or everything has to be in pairs. I'll put my Pepsi cans in the fridge, and if there's one too many, then I'll put it in another cupboard somewhere. I'll go into a hotel room, and before I can relax, I have to move all the leaflets and all the books and put them in a drawer. Everything has to be perfect. Netflix confirmed last July that a documentary series about the former footballer's career was in production. David took to his Instagram to also confirm the news at the time and express his excitement. Writing in part, I'm excited to confirm that I am partnering with at Netflix on a documentary series about my life and career. The series will feature unseen archive, untold stories, as well as interviews with the people who have been a part of my journey. The series is directed and produced by Academy Award winners Fisher Stevens and John Batsek. David and his wife, former Spice Girl Victoria Beckham, live in Holland Park, London. The couple share four children together, 11-year-old daughter Harper and three sons. 18-year-old Cruz, 20-year-old Romeo, and 24-year-old Brooklyn. Last year, Brooklyn married socialite and actress Nicola Peltz in a lavish ceremony at her family's estate in Palm Beach, Florida. The newlyweds have only seemed more head over heels than ever since tying the knot. Back in February, Brooklyn shared with Access Hollywood that he and his wife hope to have a big family. We have really adopted the, the advice of happy wife, happy life. Yep. Like you really seem to have gotten yep. it together on <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Who, who, how did you learn it? Who told you and who was the example of like, well, listen, if it's going to go well, it's got to go her way in a lot of ways. In it was a lot my of dad. It was you, my dad. Really? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. It was just like, just live life and just make sure your missus is happy. You know, that's I mean, kind of... That's what he told me. That's best. Of, that's, so, I mean, a good advice you can get, yeah, I think. I do that. everything to make her happy and make her feel comfortable. So it's good fun. You I know, love Girls it. run the world and guys just live on this planet. So You're not wrong about it. You are not wrong about that. I, I, it is cool to think <laughs> about your dad giving you that advice and now being, yeah. what, we're almost, what, a year now away almost. from the... The anniversary of you guys' wedding. Yeah, we got married in April last year, so. Doesn't it fly by? Crazy. Right. I love it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I. The thing is, like, when we were engaged, like, saying like fiance was just like annoying. I just like wanted her to be my wife. Yeah. Really? Know, now I can say like, oh, my wife. You know, but I can still call her my missus. So, Brooklyn, I don't know that I've ever fallen in love with someone I have interviewed <laughs> in such a quick amount of time. You literally <laughs> just said calling her my fiance was mm -hmm. like annoying because I wanted to call her my wife. Mm -hmm. That must be one of the sweetest things I've ever heard anybody say about their partner. But I, I, it is, there is something about the way, at least I'll say this, mm -hmm. and, I, and I hope that you understand it's yeah. with the utmost respect. There is something about what you share in your relationship and the way that it encourages other people to mm -hmm. be loving and kind. Yeah to their, their partners, to recognize that loving and kindness in their, in their partners. I've yeah. seen headlines about you, like people are saying that we need more men like Brooklyn Beckham after they realize he's the perfect husband. <laughs> and I know that there's not a situation where you really are the perfect husband, yeah. but that you, it does seem to be an intentional um, uh, message that like, I love my wife yeah. and I'm doing everything I can to make her life yeah. as great as possible. Yeah, I mean, like, she's made my life a hundred times better, and, you know, I just think, like, it's probably the most important part of someone's life is finding the right person to, mm -hmm. you know, because that's your whole life after that point, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm just, I'm excited to be a dad, and I just can't wait. Wait, so you do you do want to do the, 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 the larger family thing? Are you guys going to follow your own models with, like, the big family? Yeah. 
I mean, I always say, obviously, I'm not the one having the baby, so it's however many she wants, but she's told me she wants a big family. Really? So, yeah. Okay, give me a range. Like, we're talking three to four, we're <clears> talking <throat> five to six, seven to 15, like, what's the situation? <laughs> um, you know, we've had conversations and she's like, oh, I kind of want four or five, and then we want to adopt two or three, so. Wow. Yeah. That's really beautiful. Yeah.